Sharia and I are going to demonstrate the use of props in what we call the modified front splits. Now for us modified front splits has the back leg in as straight a position as you can get it but we're still resting on the knee and the front leg here is bent at the knee and so in effect it's like an advanced lunge position. The difference is that we're going to put this under the back of her knee here like this and what my job will be is to get into a position where I can actually apply a counter-rotating torque here. You'll see if you look at the hip joints here and here they're at an angle of about 45 degrees which is one of the ways people escape from the full stretch potential of the front split. So I'm going to put one hand in here like this and the other hand behind the sacroiliac joint and just watch square her up like so. Now the essence of this exercise is my left hand, the one whose fingers I'm wriggling here, are going to basically press the hips forward to stretch the hip flexors and she's going to use quadriceps on the front leg to try and straighten the front leg and then at some point she'll bring her trunk up to vertical away from the front leg so that's different to what we were doing before with the hamstring stretch. So this, just keep your shoulders square, that's lovely. You'll see that her hips are perfectly square now and as she straightens the front legs and does the contractions which I'll go through in a moment she'll get closer to the floor. The contractions are these. She can do the two hamstring contractions on the front leg. One is to pull the heel back to the bottom and the other is to press the foot into the floor but she can also do the hip flexor contraction which is to pull the back leg forwards and she can do any and all of those either severally or together. And relax, take a breath in and then slowly press yourself down to the floor a little bit further. Is that too intense? How's that? Very strong. Good. <laughs> Breathe and relax. You'll see the hips are very close to square here and the trunk is vertical. And bring yourself out gently and we'll turn around and show the other side. I'll just grab the cushion. The reason I recommend doing it with a bent front leg, even if you're really flexible, is that the bent front leg allows you to do the two contractions much more easier than when the legs are straight. Of course, if you can do full front splits, you can do the contractions with the legs straight too. But we have found in our beginners classes that it's much easier to get into a good front, position, front splits position if you do it this way. So I'll just change my legs over. The hand goes in underneath the ribs here and holds the front of the iliac crest. The other hand pushes to square the hips up. Now just bend that front leg a little bit more at the knee. That's it. Do the contractions when you're ready, both sets. So she's doing the heel hooking contraction now, pressing the leg down into the ground contraction. Now, then she leans back with her upper body and drags the back leg forward now. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Take a breath in and gently we ease down to the floor and you lean your upper body backwards and try and tuck your tail as well to finish it off. How's that? That's beautiful. Breathe and relax. Now, of course, relaxing is a somewhat relative um, experience in this position. It's a strong stretch for sure. But if you get it right, the sensation should be divided between the hamstrings on the front leg and the hip flexors on the back leg. And relax. Let me take that question for you. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you. Great.